Well, it, it takes two people. I tend to steam blocks, and a friend of mine is on this side, and I pass him frame, and he passes it through the underneath the keel, and we bend it down and hook it in the button. Hook right in the button. Put them through and twist them. Put a clamp on the one that has, has a lot of twist. And after you clamp it, take it out of the thing and give it a little extra twist and put it back in. Well, I don't rivet it until I take the boat off. So I nail, I plank it, fasten it on with a copper nail, then I take it off and set the nails over there. So after I get it planked and everything, I take it off. If I'm all alone, I hook that apparatus up. Watch the dust. I have a couple of ropes I hook to that. Wheel it right over. Right, then put it on a couple of horses. It would be very difficult to rivet it on the jig. Start to finish, set the nails, put all the burrs on, which incidentally is about 1100. Put all the burrs on, cut them off, and rivet it up. It probably takes us six, seven hours. Now this is where I'm giving my secrets away. Because I put that shoe on, drag it around. That's a, that's the valve. That's why I don't get carpal tunnel syndromes. Yeah, it's a work skipper. So you want to see the riveter? Nothing, nothing more than a welded chipper with a build over tool that heads up the nail, peens it over takes the place of a ball peen hammer. That was a uh, welding chipper. They have a tool goes in there to chip, to chip the slag off and weld in. That's what it was originally built for. I built the tool over. Noisy, isn't it? 